it says um okay it says a rectangular water tank measures 2.4 meter long two meters wide and 1.5 meter high the tank contained some water up to a height of 0.45 meter calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill up the tank okay i'm going to split our notepad okay so now remember the volume of the tank assuming the tank is totally empty the volume of the tank is going to be the length times the breadth times the height which is going to be 2.4 times 2 times 1.5 now this is going to give us um we're going to employ our calculator so this will be 2.4 times 2 times 1.5 so the amount of liquid that can fill up this tank is 7.2 so this is going to be 7.2 meter cube now the question says the tank contained some water up to a height of 0 0.45 so volume of water available available will be 2.4 times 2 times 0 0.45 so this will give us a okay so let's do that this will give us 2.4 times 2 times 0 0.45 okay this will give us um 2.16 okay so we'll have um 2.16 one six meter cube now we want to calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill up the tank now remember at um the total volume of water that will fill up the tank volume of water that will fill up the tank that will fill up the tank Will now be equal to total volume minus volume at 0 0.45 now this will now give us remember the tank was totally empty and the volume is supposed to be 7.2 then at height 0 0.45 it was filled up at 2.16 so all you need to do is the total volume minus the volume at 0 0.45 that will give you um, the volume that will now fill up the tank which is us which will now be 7.2 minus 2.16 so this would be we we'll apply back our calculator again okay so this would be 7.2 minus answer okay that will give us a um, 5.04 meter cube now remember it says calculate it in liters and you know that one meter cube it's the same thing as um, 1,000 liters. So 5.04 will be 5.04 times 1,000, and that will give us 5040 liters. Another way to solve this question is to follow. Um, now, if the total height total height is 1.5, um, the height remaining is going to be 1.5 minus this is our final answer, but I'm trying to show you a second method. Okay, let me level it. Second method. You say 1.5 minus 0 0.45 to give us um, empty height. Empty height. And that will be, so we'll do 0 1.5 minus 1.5 subtract 0 0.45. Now that will give us uh, 1.05. So the height to be filled up is 1.05. So we can also perform our volume and say 2.4 times 2 times 1.5. And that will also give us, um, so let's multiply that with our calculator. So this will be, sorry, this should be 1.05. This is 1.05. Okay, so we're going to punch that in our calculator. That will be. 2.4 times 2 times 1.05 okay so that will give us 5.04 which is still the same thing as meter cube which is still the same thing as 5040 meter okay so that's how you can solve this so let's go to the b part of the question 
which says it says in an inlet an inlet pipe was opened and water and water left to flow into the tank at a rate of 10 liter per minute after one hour a drain pipe was opened and water allowed to flow out of the tank at a rate of four liters per minute okay it says calculate the height of water in the tank after three hours okay so now to solve this first of all remember the first scenario said in every uh, minute 10 liters flow out so that means um it says after one hour so let's say at 60 minutes how many liters will flow out that means it will be 60 times 10 that will give us um 600 liters okay so now the other scenario now says um, after one hour a drain pipe which is an outlet pipe so that one for that one it's for every one minute um, four liters move out so this is outlet so we we'll say for um 60 minutes that's for the next um also one hour um it will be 60 times four which will give us 240 liters so now this is where the work is it says after one hour a drain pipe was opened and water allowed to flow out of the tank it means the inlet pipe started it now drained out for about one hour after water filled it up for one hour an outlet pipe was released and it's asking us to calculate the height in three hours so it means the inlet pipe worked for three hours and the outlet pipe worked for only two hours so for this for three hours for three hours it will be 600 times three that will be 1800 liters now for this this works for only two hours. For two hours, I hope you got that. For two hours, it's going to be 240 times 3 times 2. And that is going to give us... Um, 240 times 2 is going to give us 480 liters. Okay? So, what we are getting now is in three hours, what happened was 1,800 liters flowed in. And um, in, in also... Um, another two hours a total of 480 liters left so now we've established this fact it's asking us calculate the height of the tank so all we need to do is establish the volume of the water that is still remaining in the tank then with the volume we can get the height okay now you have to also remember the fact that there was water in this tank from our previous question remember it said um water there was water up to a height of 0.45 meters now remember at 0 0.45 meters the water was 2.16 volume 2.16 so we need to use this value so now we will now say total water total water for three hours it's not going to be remember one eight one thousand eight hundred minus um 480 okay then you now add up your 2160 liters remember it was 2.16 but um this time we're going to call it uh okay you could also remember um, from the previous question when we solved them um, at um the water at um 0 0.45 meters we got our volume to be um, 2.16 meter cube and if you remember vividly okay um, 2.16 meter cube is also the same thing as 2160 liters so now to get the height of the water at um, three hours we're going to say it will now be um, 18 minus 480 this is the inlet minus the outlet then plus now the initial volume of the water available remember they gave us a height of 0 0.45 meters and this was the volume so we're going to add this and get our answer so we'll say 1 8 minus um 480 okay then plus 
2160. That will give us um, 3480. So our volume is going to be 3480 liters, which is also the same thing as 3.48 liter cube. Now, to finally get the height of the water, we say our volume, which is 3.48, is equal to um, the length times the breadth times the height. Now, from our question, is 3.48. Remember, our length was um, um, we had 2 times 2.4, then times. Now, we're looking for the height at this volume. That's at 3 hours. So now, our height will now be our height is going to be this will be 3.48. All over 2 times 2.4 so we are going to punch this on our calculator so we'll see our final answer now this is going to be 3.48 divided by 2 times 2.4 okay so this will give us um, 0 0.725 so the height at 3 hours is going to be 0 0.725 meters cube so this is our height okay so um now the last question says calculate the total time taken to fill up the tank okay so remember the previous volume which was 2160 um, um we got the height when you check the inlet and the outlet plus the previous height. The total time it took to get to this was actually three hours. So we are going to look for um, the volume, for the remaining volume. Remember, total height, total height of our tank, of tank is 1.5 meters. So the remaining height, remaining height will be this will be 1.5 minus 0 0.725. Now, we're going to punch this. And if you remember vividly, okay, so let's do 1.5 minus 0 0.725. This will give us a 0 0.0.775. If you remember very well, remember at 3 hours, that is when we got... 0 0.25. So let's calculate the time taken to fill 0 0.775. Now, to get that, we'll change this. Um, we'll now say, okay, let's find the volume. Okay, so volume will still be our length times breadth times our height. Remember, this is our volume, our remaining volume in meter cube. So this is going to be 0 0.77. Okay. This is going to be, um, our volume is going to be, our length is still 2 times, our, um, our breadth is 2, our length is 2.4. Then our new height, the remaining volume that is not filled up, is going to be 0 0.775. And this is going to give us, a, let's punch that in our calculator. So, this will be 0 0.775 times 2 times 2.4. This will give us a... 3.72 so this will be 3.72 meters cube now you need to understand something remember all the facts we established in this um, equation remember um okay so now we've gotten our volume um remember from our question it says um every for every one hour we were able to get, uh, based on the inlet water, based on the inlet, the one coming in, we had um, 60 times 10, which gave us um, 600 liters for going in. Then, for outlet, in every one hour, we had um, 60 times 4, and we had um, 240 liters. Now, that means in one hour, we will have um, a total of 600 minus 240. Now, 600 minus 240 is going to give us, um, that's um, 0. 60 minus 24 is going to give us 360 liters. It means every one hour, there's 360 liters coming in. Okay? 
Then, um, now remember, this is the remaining volume. So we're going to convert this to, um, we're going to convert this to liters, which is going to give us 3720 liters. So for 3720 liters, what is it going to be like? It's going to be, um, this will be question mark. So we have 3720 liters times one hour all over 360 liters. So the liters will cancel out the liters. So remember, um, whatever you're getting is now time-based. So that will give you the number of hours. So that will be 3720 divided by 360. Okay? So that will give us a 10.3. This will be 10.33 hours. Okay. Now, you just have to be very careful because this is not the final answer. Remember, we had a 1.5 meters height. And at 0 0.775, it was filled up at 3 hours. So, and the remaining height, which was 0. Um, okay, at 0 0.725, then it was filled up in 3 hours. Then, the remaining 0 0.7 um 75 was now filled up in 10.33 hours so to get our total time we sum up the total hours which is now going to be 13.33 hours so total time will be total time will be 3 plus 10.33 and that will give us 13.33 hours so this is our final answer Yes, it's a very tough question, but I would advise you to take your time and go through it. So thank you. You can subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.